Ignition coils can be tested in a few different ways. One example is a primary ignition test. So we're going to check the primary voltage on a coil on this Hyundai behind me. All right, so to do this, we'll use the guided component test function. Now, I've already had the vehicle previously ID'd, so I'm going to my previous vehicles. And there it is right there. Now, we'll see all the different systems we can test. In this case, well, the coil is going to be under engine. And then we'll scroll down a little bit here, and we find the ignition coil right there. We go into primary tests. You see we have a few different tests we can do. In this case, we're going to do a signature test. So it tells us what the connector is going to look like. It says to hook to ignition coil negative and a known good ground. We've already done that. Uh, so we'll come down here and we'll hit view meter. And we'll see we have a flat line because the vehicle is not running. So let's start up the vehicle. And look at what we have. That looks pretty good. All right, so what we see here is the primary side of the coil. Now, the primary and the secondary side of the coil generally mirror each other. Uh, this one is just a really good example of, of what it should look like. So we see we have uh, ignition power comes in, and then when it goes to charge up the primary side of the coil, it's going to pull it down to ground. So we should have roughly zero or a little bit higher, but that would be what we, what we uh, call dwell. Right? So that's where it's going to go and charge up the coil. Then we have our firing line, so we can see what that looks like. We have a nice high firing line right there. It's about 100 volts. In this case, primary side, it's going to be a lot lower than the secondary side. It'll be in tens of thousands of volts. Uh, but measuring it on the primary side, like I said, it looks pretty similar. Then we have our uh, spark line, which is the actual burning inside the cylinder there. We can see how long it lasts. We can see whether or not uh, it's running rich or running lean. If it was running lean, it would go up considerably at the end. If it was running rich, it would go down at the end of that little lip. And then depending on how efficient the coil is at using the energy, uh, you may or may not see some of these oscillations at the end. If you see some extra little up and down oscillations there at the end, that just indicates it didn't use all the energy to create the spark. Uh, and it just had a little bit left over, so it needs to dissipate. So easy way to test a uh, coil and see if is the cylinder running rich, is the cylinder running lean, is the coil even firing at all? Uh, you can tell all that just by looking at that voltage.